Assalamu alaikum kids how are you now it's our english time and you remember we listened and read a letter and that letter was written by a mouse to his cousin now you remember the name of the mouse who wrote this letter yes pebble pebble and who did it who did it write to pebble wrote this letter to his cousin whose name is what yes nibble nibble and in this letter he complained about who a cat why he complained about that cat yes because cat was bothering him now you need to listen to this chapter once more okay listen to this chapter once more very carefully try to understand all the bits and pieces all the information that is there in the chapter and then you need to answer these questions question number 1 how does ginger disturb pebble how does ginger disturb pebble ginger jo cat ginger is the cat and how this cat ginger is disturbing pebble pebble is the mouse number 2 list some of the things that pebble might find to eat in your house wow so go in the kitchen see what is there on the floor and in the dustbin and here and there and write down all the things that pebble might find in your house to eat especially at night okay now number 3 who is more intelligent cat or mouse and why so listening to this story this letter what do you think who did you find more intelligent the cat ginger or the mouse nibble question number 4 Do you think this letter is true or just a make believe? Why? Think this letter is true or just an imagination? And why you think so? So you write all these questions and their answers in your copy. And now we're going to do a very interesting activity. It's think about this. Think about this. Number think of a new name for this chapter wow so if you have to give a new name to this letter what would it be you think what would you name this chapter that's an interesting chapter activity number 2 what lesson did you get from this chapter is there something to learn from this chapter what did you learn what new did you learn from this chapter and number 3 who helps you and how at home so did you ask for help from somebody in your home and who's that and what kind of help you get from that person now write the answers to these activities in your copy as well i love you